who is God and how is he connected with spirituality? Because these days we see a lot of organizations and a lot of spiritual processes without even a mention of God. So mm. is God required or is an essential part of spirituality or we can do spirituality without God also? Okay. So words have certain connotations and God has for various reasons become a somewhat uncool word in today's uh, vocabulary and often that is because people fight in the name of God religious sectarianism, religious extremism that is all often rationalized in the name of God so when people talk about this difference between say that I am spiritual but not religious sometimes people say so they have the idea that their idea is spirituality is about being open minded it's about being more compassionate, more composed, living more meaningful, meaningfully, connecting with something higher in life. So that definitely, I want to be that. But when they talk about religion, they say, oh, religion is dogmatic. You have to certain things without asking any questions. It's just ritualistic. Do certain things unthinkingly. So these two things, beliefs and uh, beliefs and rituals, these are what people are put, people are put off by. And what they are looking for is some higher experience, maybe some higher insights. So now, can we be spiritual but not religious? Well, we could say yes and no. Can we be open-minded when we are pursuing higher reality and not be narrow-minded? If we say religious, being religious is narrow-minded, then certainly we can be spiritual without being religious. We can be open-minded, we can we need not be narrow-minded. But having said that, we also understand that spirituality is not just a state of mind. Spirituality requires some inner change and that inner change requires certain practices and those practices are what religion was originally meant to be. So somebody may say, I am not religious, but then they will do some meditation, uh, they will do some breathing exercises, they might want to go to, they, they will do certain practices which they feel are helping them become spiritual. So whatever one does to become spiritual, in one sense, that is religious. So to say, I want to be spiritual but not religious, it's like say, I want to be healthy but I don't want to take any medicine. I don't want to do any exercise. And no, you have to do something to become healthy. It's not an automatic thing that's going to happen. So now, with this understanding, what about spirituality and God? The word God may have a certain negative connotation as because it's my God and your God and my God is better than your God. All the sectarianism comes in. However, if we consider spirituality, talks about higher realities. Uh, is there a highest reality? So, if we consider the spiritual journey to be like a mountain climbing. So, I am at the bottom of the mountain, I want to go to the top of the mountain. So, I can go from this way, I can go from that way. But the idea is, there is a peak of the mountain and we want to reach that. So, there are various realities, there are levels of reality and there is a highest reality. So, whatever is the highest reality, that highest reality is theologically called as God. In our Vedic tradition, that is called as Brahman. Now, Brahman itself has many aspects. And there is Bhagawan. Bhagawan is the personal manifestation, is the high, ultimate reality, and it's, it's personal manifestation. So, in that sense, spirituality will culminate, the, the summit of spirituality will be the experience of ultimate reality. And the experience of ultimate reality is the experience of God. So, in that sense, spirituality cannot be divorced from God. However, if people are uh, too gun shy, people have a negative response to the idea, to the use the word of the word God, to the idea of anything religious, then they can be, uh, they can take up practices that help them to feel more centered, more connected, more calm. And as they start experiencing higher reality more and more, they become more open, then they can also understand that there are, they may also become more open to realities like God without having the prejudices and fears about what God means, what religion means. So, as the, so the idea is that if spirituality is really going to make us more open-minded, then should it not make us more open-minded to re-examine our preconceptions about religion and our preconceptions about God, if it does that, then that is we are really going spiritually. 
Thank you very much, uh, Chetan Charan Prabhuji, for your valuable association. It's so wonderful talking to you. Thank you very much, viewers. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.